wanted someone who actually would do something original, unexpected, something that was a surprise to us. We both went up for it at the same time. We both kind of went on tape at the same time during the first season of Sherlock. So we both went in very early 2010. And I knew Benedict wanted to play Smaug. Smaug was uh, one of the characters that we cast quite early on. We were looking at some of the tapes and a young actor called Benedict Cumberbatch actually sat down in a chair. <sighs> well, thief. I smell you, I can hear your breath, so why don't you show yourself? I guess my first point of call was going on to the Hubbards, which is the UK casting directors of great fame, partly because of The Lord of the Rings. I mean, they, they, they got Peter all of that cast, and I put myself on tape with Dan Hubbard, and he said, look, I, 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 I don't know, I think, you know, just do one where it's just the voice. I mean, maybe just do one off camera. This is just for Smaug to start off with. But I'd, I'd imagine that it'd be motion capture, there might be a bit of that involved. He went, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. And I went, well, I'd love to do a little bit. I'd love to do a little bit of action because it just helps with the voice. You seem very familiar with my name, but I do not remember smelling one of your kind before. Who are you and uh, where do you come from, may I ask? So I did a few head movements and sort of serpentine stuff with my neck and got the shoulders working a bit. And Dan went very quiet and I went, too much, too much. And he went, no, that was, no, it was fine. It was just, I wasn't expecting it. No, that was, that was good, that was good. I just do one off camera, so I did one off camera as well. Oh, yes, Barrel Rider. <laughs> you may walk unseen, but you did not walk all the way on your own. We couldn't see his head. We could only hear his voice. I don't think I knew what he looked like. I just heard this voice and it was like, oh, my God, wow. That's an incredible voice. I ate six ponies last night and I shall catch and eat all the others before long. <laughs> and then I didn't hear anything, I think, for about a year. <laughs> and I got a call saying, um, they want you to play Smart. Peter was like, why, why did you do that um, audition where we, we went on camera? We thought, we thought they just, they, they hadn't framed you in, but did you do one off camera? And I was like, yeah, yeah I, did, I did, because I was f***ing told to by Dan Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, that's, that's, that was strange. I said, well, I presume it's because it was at the stage where you didn't know it was going to be voiceover, so, you know, I, I might ruin the chance of getting a part if you saw my f***ing face. <laughs> it wasn't about what he looked like, it was about what he sounded like. 